Welcome back to the There Will Be Trivia Team Tournament right here on the Worldwide Movie Games Network. I am your host, Chris Skywalker Doman. Here with me in the co-host and chair, I've got Henry Confidential. Henry, um, <laughs> did, are, are, are we hosting the right match? I honestly don't know. I, I, I checked the schedule for today and I'm like, I don't think I got the update because this is not who I expected. No, this isn't who we expected, but uh, this is this is still a welcome pairing nonetheless. We have Team Big Picture of Paul Oyama and Michael Campbell, who were able to fill in at the last second, which was a very, very uh, awesome. Thank you both, gentlemen. We really appreciate it. But then we also have Team Marauders, which comprises of John Salvi and his new partner, Sean Sandberg. Okay. I've seen Sean a couple of times over in the full metal ring, and he, he knows his stuff. And John, of course, back from my days in the Take 3, he the dude went 3-1. and one. That dude yeah. was a powerhouse at times. Like, he even, he even took down the Einstein, which is something that this not a true. lot of people do. So I didn't. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but that's the thing, though. We have So, yes, we have two experienced and two brand new people. I think this could this could this could go either way. Funny enough, yeah. Because uh, luckily for Big Picture, there are uh, two admins over at the NWO New New Merle and MO New Merle Order page, so they have some chemistry behind the scenes. So I'm not sure exactly how that's going to translate on camera and how it's going to translate in the trivia realm. But I feel like they have a little more expectations for themselves than we would think going in. Probably, and it also helps uh, at least for me. Because I have a little bit of a biased interest in this match, um, maybe mostly just because, big shocker here, the winner of this match takes on myself and the Aussie Jacob Blunden as Team Take 3 in round 2. So, I I don't know who I want to win. Who would I rather face? Would I rather face people who are just making their debut, or would I rather face people who might want to face Jacob and I, as you're probably going to hear in this little clip. Check this out. The way that this particular team up came to be was that I was I just randomly got tagged in a post one day, uh, Henry asking if I wanted to be John Salvi's partner. And, you know, after uh, figuring out that, you, you know, a uh, partner of mine that I was planning on uh, joining the league with wasn't going to be uh, available until the end of the tournament. I just thought to myself, hey, why not? I'm absolutely down to play trivia anytime. And if John needs my help, then screw it. I'll do it. As far as how we came into this league, I mean, me and Mike talk basically every day. Uh, we both admin over at the Numeral Order Facebook page. And, uh, yeah, we just talk about movies constantly. Uh, Henry hit me up in the DMs, and uh, I didn't think I could really have another partner that would make too much sense. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, I was originally partnered with Taylor, but uh, she had to drop out for certain reasons. Um, and I was lucky enough to find Sean, and I had several con conversations with Sean. I know what he knows, and uh, he's got a wealth of knowledge, so... It'll be awesome to have him as a partner. I know the professionals, they even have struggles recalling from movies they saw a couple of years ago. So it's like, it's going to be even harder for us. So, man, it's, it's tough. It's nervous. You know, I have two unknown opponents and, you know, got to take them just like I took the opponents that I had previously. I mean, I, you know, I won't know their strengths and weaknesses off the bat. Unfortunately, we got to, you know, just work as a team, get the points that we need, and, um, you know, hopefully we'll come out on top. Well, when I look at myself as a rookie in this league, really, um, everyone's got their first game, and uh, I understand how this works. It's not like it's super complicated, and it's really, if you know it, then you know it, and if not, well, you're shit out of luck. Personally, I feel as though Whenever I get asked a question, it, it always kind of makes the stress and the anxiety of the pre-match stuff go away completely. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing this. Yeah, I don't, I don't think experience makes you a good player. Um, not saying that he's necessarily not, but, you know, you're as good as your movie knowledge is. And whether you're experienced or whether it's your first match, like at the end of the day, it comes down to what's in your head and not what's on your record or whatever. So because I need to face the team, that the two guys that I always wanted to face. Uh, Jacob and Chris, I always wanted to face you guys. And uh, I'm coming for you. We're gonna win this match and we'll see you guys next round. Well, you know, I feel like we're kind of destined to win this match. Um, you got a team with an Aussie and a team with a kid from the Midwest against a team with an Aussie and a team with a kid from the Midwest. Battle for Australia, so that's number one. 
the reason why I need to win this match is because I hate lose. I hate uh, losing more than I like winning. So, at the end of the day, I just want to win absolutely any match I possibly can. I never go in wanting to, you know, eat shit, obviously. It would be only poetic justice, really, for us to take on take three. And um, we're not looking past our opponents, but that's definitely a match I, uh, I got my eyes set on. So, yeah. And look at that. Uh, Marauders, you know... They, they they got some confidence and big picture same thing like I'm I'm pleasantly surprised and you know what Paul brings up a great point what would be more amazing than seeing an Aussie and a Midwestern boy facing an Aussie and a Midwestern boy but we'll just have to see what uh, what three rounds of trivia holds for our competitors but with that being said guys let's do this introducing first coming in. As the number five team on the bracket. Give it up for Zoso, Michael Campbell, and Paul Oyama. Team Big Picture. And their opponents coming in as the number four seed on the bracket. Give it up for... The Real American, John Salvi, and Sicario, Sean Sandberg. Team Marauders. Okay, now, Henry, how does round one work? So, unfortunately for everybody, me and you are going to take our faces off the screen in just a second, and all four competitors are going to be in the ring at the same time. We are going to ask them eight questions from eight different categories. They're all going to write it down on a whiteboard. They're going to get 15 seconds, and they're going to reveal one at a time, and you better believe they're going to say exactly what they wrote down. Something like that, indeed. All right, Team Marauders, are you ready? I'm ready, guys. Team Big Picture, are you ready? How's it go? Yeah. Okay. For your first, uh, I will take the odd number of questions in this round, Henry, and I'll have you take the even ones. I like it. Your first question in the category of fantasy adventure. What movie from the 1990s features a talking dragon named Draco? Doman, I don't even think we need any banter back and forth. We got we got Salvi's uh, background music that he's doing justice right now for us. <laughs> Taking that pressure off us. I like it. Indeed, indeed. Because I can't always think of something clever. Yeah, at least not without giving the answer away. In five, <laughs> four, you guys three, can hear that? I'm sorry. two, one. All right. Sean, what you got? Dragonheart. That is correct. Paul? Uh, Dragonheart. That is nice. correct. John. Dragonheart. That is nice. correct. Michael. I got nothing. Ah, all right, all right. Yep, the answer was, in fact, Dragonheart. All right, pretty good for, uh, for Marauders. All right, your second question on the category of drama. Name the film in which Daniel Day-Lewis plays a man afflicted with cerebral palsy. If you pay attention to uh, Full Metal, this might sound familiar. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not even going to make a joke. Like, this is a legit thing that I really hope uh, can be cured within the next, like, 20 years. I, I really hope that. Yeah, I feel like this is one of those where they're making progress. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, we cured, we, we cured polio, so let's hope this is the next big one. In five, four, three, two, one. Paul, what you got? Uh, it's going to be my left foot. That is correct. John. My left foot. That's correct. Michael. My left foot. Nicely done. On the board. Shine. My left foot. And everybody's on the board. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a close one. I can tell. All right. Your third question. Under the category of science fiction, the futuristic thriller Snowpiercer, starring Chris Evans, takes place almost entirely inside what location? I just want to say this right now, this might be my favorite Brett Sheridan review of all time. <laughs> just because it's such... It, it's such I, a... I, I haven't watched it, and knowing Brett Sheridan, that, uh... You're looking, you're looking <laughs> for a general worried. answer, right? Yes. 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 
a general answer. It's the answer you're assuming. It's, it's a movie I haven't seen, so I don't want to get spoiled, because I heard it is really good. Three, five. It's real good. Four. Three. Two. One. John, what you got? I got nothing. Ooh, all right, Michael. Uh, might be wrong, but train? That is correct. Nicely done. Sean. Takes place on a train. That's correct. And Paul for the tie. The entire population is on a train. That is correct. Tie game. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry, Sean. It's all right, dude. All righty. Next question under the category of Oscars. Who received Best Leading Actor nomination for the film Chaplin? Film Chaplin. 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 Zin Charles. Doug, Doug Chaplin? That would have been an interesting way to also. Doug Chaplin. Again, Chris Chaplin. Back in the day, though, he didn't speak, so maybe that's not even his name. He just didn't know how to talk. That's, that's, that's just the... not true. That's just not true. I want to question our great dictator, damn it. In five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. All right. Michael. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. That is correct. Sean. RDJ, Robert Downey Jr. That is correct. Paul. Robert Downey Jr. That is correct. And it looks like John maybe not didn't get it. I, no, I had Robert Downey Jr. and I erased it. Oh, wow. that is unfortunate. Second guessing yourself. That's mm -hmm. a Okay. All right. For your fifth question, under the category of movie release dates, what decade? I'm looking for a decade, not not year. Decade saw the release of the films The Prince of Tides, Shine, and Rockadoodle. Rockadoodle sounds like a biopic on my life. Uh, no. <laughs> I've just been rocking it, these doodles because I don't get any it, work it, done. It, it is a messed up weird can i get a ruling on the um on the movie titles okay i'll just give you i'll just repeat the question and then do a quick uh 10 count what decade saw the release of the films the prince of tides shine and rockadoodle in five four three two one okay sean 1990s? That is correct. Paul. Oh, Jesus Christ. I said the 60s. Oh, my God. That is incorrect. <laughs> and John. 90s. That nice. is correct. God. Michael. Uh, 90s. Oh, there it is. correct. Still a tie game. Tie Wrong game. Movie. Jesus. And Sean, so far, is the only one who has not missed. So far. Next category yeah, under animated. In South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut, what is the name of the fictional movie starring Terrence and Philip that causes an uproar? Oh, uh, oh God. I'm, I'm still mad I wasn't on this watch along. I need, I need to rewatch this movie, and because and, I've, I've never been a South Park fan, the TV show, so the movie I never, you know, well, never see, tried it's, to. It's, well, that's kind of funny, because like, I've kind of lost interest in South Park, but this movie's just fantastic for what it says. I remember liking it, but I don't remember loving it, so I definitely want to give it a, a revisit. Yeah, definitely. Do that. Do that. In five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Paul. I don't know. I said Book of Mormon. <laughs> Great guess, but that is incorrect. John. I didn't know it, so I just said Blaine Canada. <laughs> Great guess. That is incorrect. Michael. I think it's a song, but Uncle Fucker. <laughs> that is incorrect. Great guess, though. And Sean. Was it Flaming Asses? Oh, that is so close. Asses of Fire. Oh, Asses on Fire. Fuck. Asses of Fire is the correct Ooh. answer. Don't don't feel bad, Michael. That was my incorrect guess as well in testing. <laughs> That's a deep cut question, man. Yeah. All right. Your seventh question, gentlemen, under the category of classics. Sam Spade is the name of the main character from which 1941 film? You said 41, right? Yep, correct. Sam Spade, 41. What movie? Recent first time watch for me. Didn't enjoy as much as I had hoped I would. I was pretty bummed out, actually. Well, that's probably because you were just overhyped for it. That might be the issue, because... 
Yeah, that's, that's, that's what not happens. what I. Sadly, that's what happens with a lot of classics. I fear. In five, four, three, two, one. John. Maltese Falcon. That is correct. That is correct. Michael. Wrong. Wrong one. Casablanca. Ooh, Sean. That would be the Maltese Falcon. That is That's correct. Correct. And Paul. Uh, also the Maltese Falcon. That is Ooh. correct. Nicely done. All right. So we're keeping this game nice and tight. The lead. All right. Going into your. Sorry. Go <laughs> Going into your final question, Paul and Sean are at six points each. That is very impressive for you. Can't get a perfect round, but you can do pretty damn good. Actors and actresses. What actor, male, starred in the thrillers Magic, Instinct, and Fracture? In testing, this was one of those where I'm like, I am hope that my reasons for answering this question is right. Mm. Awesome. That's a... Uh... Great use of logic there, Henry. I like it. Good thing I'm not on camera right now. My dog's eating a doorstop. Hey, can I get a repeat on that, please? Yes. What actor starred in the thrillers Magic, Instinct, and Fracture? So you're looking for the main... Uh, never mind. Yeah, yes. the star. And, yeah. and it's the one that's mutual to all three of those movies. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens and markers down. All right, Michael. Tim Robbins. Not a bad guess, but that is incorrect. Sean. Is that Anthony Hopkins? That is correct. Paul. Ah, wrong actor. Ryan Gosling. Ooh, all right, all right. And John. I got nothing. Okay. Coming out of round one, the Marauders lead 11 and 9. Great start for both teams. And look at that 11 and 9 with the Marauders taking the lead. Now, this is actually kind of interesting because Big Picture started off with the lead and then Marauders took it. Then it's, it's, it's very, been very back and forth. And I'm pretty sure this is how the rest of the game is going to go. And if so, I'm excited to see where the rest yeah, of this match I'm, is going to go. You could tell that the nerves were there when they first started for all four competitors. And. As if you maybe you can tell or maybe you can't, we've had some technical issues, so everyone's a little on edge. But this match is going great on as a competitor standpoint, so I'm really excited with how it's going so far, and I can't wait for the rest. All right, indeed. But uh, now we move on to round two, and Henry, how does that work? So the Marauders are currently in the lead. They're going to decide to go first or second. Once that decision is made, the team that goes first is going to choose a number one through ten and bet on either red or black. A category or a color is going to get selected. If a category gets selected, that team is either going to stick with that, they're going to hand it off, forcing their opponent to answer four questions from that category, or they're going to respin. If they do hand it off, they only get one respin option left. And if a color gets selected, the color that gets selected, that team is going to pick for either themselves or for their opponent. Multiple choice will be available, knocking it down from two to one, and there will be stealing, so keep your ears to the grindstone. That was like 99.999% right there. That was pretty funny. That, that, that was perfect. <laughs> nice lesson done. Wow. Matt Nose would be proud of you, my friend. <laughs> Swear to God. Woo! All right, Team Marauders, you guys are currently in the lead. Would you like to go first or second in round two? Uh, John, how are you feeling on this? I, uh, I, say, I think we go second. All right, let's go second. All right, they have elected to go second, and now let's go over to Team Big Picture. All right, Team Big Picture, you guys will be going first in round two. Please bet on either red or black. Stop. Red, please. Red sounds good. And for your categories in this round, you guys have Leonardo DiCaprio, movie release dates, movie quotes, movie filmography, where you will be given four films and you have to name the director of the films, Musicals, Arnie and Sly, horror films, and Oscars. Please choose a number between 1 through 10. I'm going to go 3. That is the category of Arnie and Sly. Would you like to stick with that or go for something uh, else or hand it off to your opponents? I'm going to take off. that might be a strength of this. So I'm starting. I'm going to take off. I'm going to take off. I'm going to take a hard... Uh... I think we should pass on it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Rich spin. Rich spin. All yeah. right. And just let you know, whatever you pick next, you are stuck with. 
Um, all right, let's go with eight. That is the category of movie release dates. Let's do this. All right, Henry, would you like the honors? All righty, gentlemen, under my favorite release dates, so I will be judging hardcore. <laughs> remember, you can collaborate, and we will not accept an answer until we hear final answer. But remember, everything you say, your opponents can hear as well. So if you miss, they have the chance to use that information on a steal opportunity. Your first question. What year saw the release of The Spectacular Now and Elysium? 2013. 2013, final answer. Two points. That is correct. Two points. Oof. The confidence. Very impressive on both of you. Very impressive. All righty, your second question. What year saw the release of RoboCop and La Bamba? Is this the original RoboCop? Yes. Yeah, correct. I believe that's, it's, that's 87. 1987, right? yeah. 1987, final answer. Correct. Two, points. Two more points. Oof. Now you have the lead, gentlemen. Got that off of La Bamba, which you know. Well, <laughs> I'm not expecting that. All right, your third question. What year saw the release of Grindhouse and Lars and the Real Girl? 2007, I think it is, Paul. It's hard. Sure? Else, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Because I think it was six, for... right? Pardon? Half Half Nelson, Nelson, right? Sorry, six. Yeah. And I think. 2007. Lars and... 2007. Final answer. Two more points. Two more... Oh my gosh. Oh. I like your deduction too, because that was the first thing I was like, is, is, which one came first, Half Nelson or Lars? Ooh, Half Nelson they, or Lars? They could, potentially, yeah. they could potentially put a six point lead in here if they get this last one. Yep. And everyone's favorite, what decade, I'm asking for the decade, saw the release of Buffalo 66, Where the Day Takes You, and The Relic? I think that's the 2000, 2000s. Are you sure? Because Buffalo 66 is pretty sure with crew. I think it might be 90s actually. Late I think 90s, it's 90s, so. right? Isn't Buffalo 66 sure like 98? Buffalo 66 yeah. is 98. So 1990 yeah, is final. Yeah. Two more Please points. sweep! Wow! Woo! <laughs> That's how you use teamwork, gentlemen. Take note, team. We cooking. We cooking. That's how rookies. I am impressed. Ooh. Oh, no rookie shit. mistake there, gentlemen. I'm impressed. Like 90s. Wow. All right, with that being said, you guys took a lead of 17 to 11. You were down two. Now you're up six. Okay, so Marauders, you guys have a little bit of a mountain to climb, but uh, judging by your performance in round one, I think this uh, this game is about to get a little more interesting. So your remaining categories are horror films, movie filmography, quotes, musicals, Leonardo DiCaprio and Arnie and Sly. Please choose a number between 1 through 10 and 8 is off the table. John, what do you want to go with? Well, Sean, they picked uh, Arnie and Sly at 3. Do you want to try something else or do you feel you just want to take it? I'll, I'll take whatever you want, buddy. All right. So, uh, right, I'm just want to write number 3, they guessed, with Arnie and Sly. I'm asking Sean. I know you guys can't answer that. I'm, I'm good with it. I'm good with it. All right, so 3, Arnie and Sly. That is, in fact, Arnie and Sly. Would you like to stick with that? <laughs> with trying to pretend yeah. like there's some suspense there. <laughs> oh, well, we know. Uh, we'll take it, yes. All right. Sounds good. I'll read you're back, Gilman. For a second, you, you were uh, delayed for a second on our end, so yeah, I'm glad yeah, you're back. <laughs> yeah, no, right. All right, gentlemen. For your first question, under the category of Arnie and Sly, which... Arnold Schwarzenegger film has the characters Ben Richards, Damon Killian, and Fireball. I got this one, Sean. Okay, go ahead. The Running Man, final answer. Two points. Oh. All right, well done. For your second question, in 1997's Copland, Stallone plays the sheriff of a suburban community in what eastern U U.S. state? Remember, you can't talk between yourselves. Yeah, talk all you want. You won't say answers. anything until final answer, so talk all you want or until the time runs out. Does... I'm going to need multiple unless you got it, Sean, unless you know. Does Copland take place in Boston? I think it, I think it takes place in Boston. But I'm not, screw I'm it. Let's, let's go. Let's go multiple choice on this one. All right. Yeah. 
Your multiple cho choice options are A, New York, B, New Jersey, C, Pennsylvania, D, Maryland. Ooh. Any choice? Uh, I, I think it's Jersey. What do you want to go with, John? New York or New Jersey? Because I'm pretty certain it's one of the two. Um, no, let's go with New Jersey. All right. right. Answer. New Jersey, final answer. New Jersey, final one answer. point. Nicely done. Oh. get the shit out of that one. I was I was gonna say it's not New York, and I kind of knew it was in, it was in New York, but I didn't want to say that. Okay. So, to get Strategy, I like it. For your third question, under the category of Arnie and Sly, name the 1977 documentary about bodybuilding that introduced Arnold Schwarzenegger to the world at large. Pumping shot. iron. Yep. Final answer? I agree. Final, Final answer, answer. pumping oh. iron. Two points. All right, one point Gosh. away. Oh, boy. The thing uh, weight is like having sex. <laughs> the pump, I'm constantly coming. <laughs> coming, I'm coming. Yes, yes, and uh, we're coming up on your last question here. <laughs> in, Segway. In Escape Plan, why is Stallone's character locked up in the prison where most of the film takes place? Oh. Have you seen Escape Plan? Because I haven't. I've seen little pieces of it. This would be a total guess, so I would need multiple choice. All right. A, he was framed for murder. B, he is secretly the prison warden. C, he's a security expert hired to escape. Or D, he's a bank robber. I believe he's... John, I think he's a security expert who's hired to escape the prison, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Go with it, man. All right. So, yeah, we're going to go with he's a, he's a security expert who's, uh, whose job it is to escape from the prison. Final answer. Final answer. Final answer. Tie game! Tie game! This is how we rock. <laughs> Struggled a little bit more than I thought on that one. Yeah, me too. And look at that. It is now still tied. 17 to 17. Now, I can feel safe in saying that uh, my and Jacob's record is intact, but one of these teams, both of these teams, come really close to, uh, you know, coming up on that record. So we'll just have to see how round three goes. And speaking of round three, Henry, how does it go? So we have a tie game right now. And with that being said, the team higher ranked, which glad we figured that out at the beginning because we weren't sure right away behind the scenes issues. So <laughs> long term, my guys. So with that being said, the team who is higher ranked is going to choose three numbers, one and two, three and four, five and six. And that is going to correlate to a two point IMDb question, which is the year, the movie and the genre. <laughs> oh, woo! the year, <laughs> the main star of the movie and the genres. A three-point question, which is the year, three plot keywords, and the director, or and a five-pointer, which is going to be the year, and they're going to decide what two they would like of actor, director, keywords, and genres. And hey, guess what, guys? We have some tiebreak questions in case it gets to that point, and I really hope it does. Okay. Now, Marauders, because it is a tie game and you are the higher-ranked seed in the bracket, you guys will get to pick the numbers for your IMDb questions. Please, for your two-pointer, please choose either movie number one or movie number two. What do you want to go with, John? I'll go two. Two? Let's go two. All cool. right, two. Movie number three or movie number four? You pick this one, Sean. Let's go. Let's go movie number three. All right. Movie number five or movie number six? Five. Five. Five works. Yeah. Two, three, five, five and one, four, six. I like it. All right. Now let's go over to Team Big Picture for their two-pointer. All right. So, Henry, please walk Team Big Picture through their round three. All right, gentlemen. So I'm going to ask you a year, or I'm going to tell you a year, and you're going to have to choose which one of you two is going to answer. Remember, it is the year, genre, and star of the film. So I'm only going to give you the year, and you're going to have to go off that information alone and decide. Your year is 2014. Which one of you two is more comfortable with 2014 and actor slash actress? Take it. Yeah, you can get it, Mike. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Ready for the lead. Michael. Just riding. Yeah. For the lead, Michael Only. Your year is 2014. Your genres, war, drama, and action. And your star is Brad Pitt. Uh, Fury. Two points. Two points. Right. Oh boy, Mikey. Let's jump over to Team Marauders to tie it back up. Team Marauders to respond to, to, to tie it back up with Team Big Picture. For your two pointer, your year is 1977. Who would like to take this for the actor? John, you want this one, or should I take this one? Uh, I think I want to. Movie because it's, I might be better with the older movies. I, don't know. I mean, um, I'm not saying I'm better. I just I'm, I, th I think my strength is older. Movies, I so. I get it. You don't need to explain. <laughs> it's all fine. Right. All right, all right, John. It's fine. All right, John. Okay. Yeah, I'll all take right. it. I'll take it. Yeah. Okay. And John. I just got a whiteboard to write down. So. That's fine. Your year is 1977. Your genres: drama, sci-fi, and adventure. And your actor is Richard Dreyfus. God damn it. I knew that this was going to be the movie that you guys were going to ask. 77 drama, sci-fi, adventure. Uh, Richard Dreyfus. Oh, Richard Dreyfus. Um, 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 Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Two points! Final. Sorry, I just drew a fucking blank. <laughs> it's all good, uh, dude. All, all right. Good. All right, John hit the two I, I remember the, so, so now it's I remember up to... The now it's up to Big Picture to hit their three-pointer and keep this going. All righty, gentlemen. Remember, Paul, this is to you and you only to take back the lead. Your three-pointer. Your year is 2004. Your plot keywords, road trip, wine country, and marriage. And your director, Alexander Payne. Uh, that'd be sideways, final answer. Wow, three points. Nice. Woo, hoo, 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 hoo. Okay. This is once again just put more pressure on the Marauders. Let's go with them. All right, Marauders, to tie this up, Sean, you will be answering your three point question. Your year is 1964. Oh. Your plot keywords British secret agent. Aston Martin and Fort Knox, and your director Guy Hamilton. That'd be Goldfinger. Tie game. Tie game. Oh nice. my oh. God! Simple. All right, gentlemen. There's no pressure here, except for if you miss this, the Marauders have a chance to win. But if you hit this, you have a chance to win, or at least add the pressure onto them. So it's not as bad. You can collaborate. I'm going to give you a year, and you're going to choose two of the following clues. Are you ready? Yep. Very good. All right. Your year is 1979. What two clues would you like out of actor, director, plot keywords, and genres? Uh, we're going to go actor, keywords. Right, Michael? Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. I'm going to reiterate. Your year is 1979. Your keywords, holy land, incompetent political group, unwilling leader, and your actor is Graham Chapman. Graham Chapman. Jesus Christ. Remember guys, talk amongst yourselves. Same thing with Brown. So final answer. Yes. Could you? Could I hear the keywords again, please? Yes. I'll just give you it all, and then you can start talking. Okay. The year is 1979. Your keywords: Holy Land, incompetent political group, unwilling leader, and your actor he's, is Graham Chapman. Life of Brian, he's, he's, right? Yeah, he's one of the Monty Python yeah. guys, right? Yeah. So you're sure, oh. it's not Holy Grail because Holy Land. No, I think it's Life of Brian, 79. So uh, Monty Python's Life of Brian, final answer. Points! Points! Wow! Who is this guy? 
Oh god, okay. And if Marauders hits their five or we go to sudden death, so no pressure, let's guys. Just, no, let, pressure. no pressure, let's just go to them. Marauders. As you just saw, big picture hit the fiver on Life of Brian. It's up to you guys now to either tie the game or sadly if you miss it, they will win. But here we go. Once again, I will give you the year and you will choose two of the following clues. Your year is 2010. Please choose director, actor, genres, or plot keywords. You want to go actor and plot keywords, John? Yeah, that, those are the ones I favor. Yeah. All right, we're All gonna right. Go actor and plot keywords. To, to reiterate, your year is 2010. Your actor, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. And your plot keywords are special forces team, suicide mission, and encrypted hard drive. John, I think that's the losers. Go ahead, man. You got you got a better guess than I do. That'd be the losers. Tie game! Tie game! <laughs> Good one, Sean. Oh Thank you. my God! Wow! That's how you end round one. That's whoa! Oh, that's wait, how we th haven't ended yet. Yeah. Exactly. Like this is the this is the last match of round one, and it's not over yet. And sadly, guess what happens, motherfuckers? We're going to sudden death. Oh, God. Okay, Henry. Because we haven't had to do this yet in the tournament. How does sudden death work? So sudden death is quite similar to round one. All four competitors are going to be on the screen. We're going to read them one question at a time, and they are going to whiteboard it. We are going to go until we don't have a tie game anymore. So that is up to each team, whether it's two and two, one and one, or zero and zero. So, yep. so I, I'm nervous. And, are you? And, and basically how it's going to go is let's say all four competitors get the answer correct. We move on to the next question, and they keep the points. Yeah. So, so your points record might actually be. <laughs> uh, yeah, my, my points record is either going to get tied or broken in this match. So we'll just have to see what happens. But... Let's do it! All right, everybody. Are you all ready? Yep. Yeah. Team Marauders. Team Big Picture. Let's do this. For your first sudden death question and the first sudden death in this team tournament. In 2003's Old Boy, what tool did Daisu use to remove someone's teeth? That just sounds painful. It looked pleasant. Absolutely. I'm just Absolutely. amazed that we're here in 2003 Sunday. original yes. Korean. Yes, to be clear. Yes. Not, not the remake. The... <laughs> yeah, exactly. In five. Can we get a repeat? Sorry, can we get a repeat on that? Okay, yep. Repeat and then a 10 count. In 2003's Korean Old Boy, just to not um, confuse it with the remake, what tool did Daisu use to remove someone's teeth? Five, four, ten, ten, three, <laughs> two, one. All pen right. down. Sean, what you got? Was it pliers? That is incorrect. Paul. Fuck. I also had pliers. That is incorrect. John. I had pliers. That is uh -oh. incorrect. Michael, and Michael. For the win? Fuck. Oh, okay. Oh, well, they're, we're looking for a hammer. Hammer. A Damn hammer. it. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. I can't do that. I've seen I knew that his main yeah. tool. I didn't know he okay. removed a tree. Yep. <laughs> All right. Your second question in sudden death. What actor starred in the films Puncture and Gifted? Puncture and Gifted. Oh, so I am so nervous right now. Oh my god. Glad I didn't have any spaghetti today. Ha! Huh. Great yes. movie. In five, four, three, two, one. Paul, what you got? Uh, I believe that is Hollywood's second best Chris, Chris Evans. That is correct. John. Don't oh. have it. Oh, Michael. Michael. Chris Evans. Shit. And Sean. Chris Evans. And your winner! And the new point holder! Right, Zozo Michael Campbell and Paul Oyama! Team Big Picture! Oh my god!
Holy cow. <laughs> okay, okay. I'd be mad if somebody scored more than Jacob and I in three rounds. But you know what? I'm not even mad. This was in sudden death. This this match has gone down as not only the best match of round one. This might go down as the best Hard match start. in the tournament, period. Like, when you have a game that is 29 to 28, that is beyond impressive. Especially when you have three rookies in this league. And one, technically, John Salvi is a rookie in the new format. So you have four complete rookies, and you have this such of a high-scoring game. That is beyond impressive. And nerves, tension, it, it didn't matter. All out the window. Gameplay. Yeah, wow. exactly. And it, and neither team has anything to be ashamed about because both of them did 100% great. On paper, this is two wins. Yeah, exactly. On paper, this is two wins. I mean, I, the, the losing team tied the record. Like, d d okay. Okay, I'm going to compose myself real quickly, and then we're going to go talk to first our winners, then our losers, and then we'll try to wrap this up and not fanboy too hard. All right. Uh, team Big Picture, congratulations on a incredibly fought win. Uh, what are your first thoughts coming 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 into your into your victory here? Well, we um, came here to play. We played. I mean, and just shout out to Marauders. Fucking, <laughs> we wouldn't have broke the record without them. And yeah, they gave right. they gave everything they fucking got. They brought the best out of us, and that's what makes a great They're match. Damn better than a bunch of opponents some other teams are beating out here in round yeah. one, but. Yeah, and uh, I like Michael. You finally got your toes wet. You're talking now. I'm liking it. You, you guys got some personality. So, obviously, this question, you guys are going into round two, so we're going to see you at least again. But I'm hoping that – um, Oh, yeah, who would you be facing in round two? Hmm. Gee, I wonder. Uh, is half of that team sitting on this panel right now, and is half of that team talking into his microphone at this very moment? Um, look, it to, to, to say that it's going to be an honor to fight you both uh, is actually pretty awesome. And – you know, it's like you said in your pre-match there, Paul. It's that poetic justice. Now, obviously, Minnesota is the better state than Indiana. So, you know, sorry, but, you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm from Hawaii, so I, I, I'm just currently in Indiana. I'm not going to fight you on and that. And me and Jacob are both from Gold Coast, so we can't disagree on Gold Coast is the best city in the world, so. Sure, we'll, we'll 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 let we'll we'll let you weird Aussies have that one, but but do you guys have any closing thoughts towards your opponents, uh, Team Marauders, who took you to the limit? Yeah, it was looking dicey when we were down by two, down in round one, and then they got a strength of theirs in round two, but luckily it tied, and that was worked out perfectly. So congrats yeah. to them. For Awesome, awesome match. That's off to them. I mean, they perform. They would have beat any other team in this tournament aside from Doman and Jacob. But yeah, they would have killed anyone else. So I don't know. Uh, I have a question. Did you guys? Do you feel like you surprised even yourselves with your performances today? Do you feel like this is a potential one hit wonder, or is this something that no one knows? So is this something that we're going to see more often, or are you guys Bibiani going to set the bar too high? Uh, well, we didn't go perfect. It's still. Some room for improvement, especially for me. I missed a couple, wasn't proud of, but, you know, anything can happen. Next match could just be all questions we know, they don't. Who knows? Who knows? Do you think that was nerves with the questions, like the rough start? Or, or do you think that, it was just one of those you just didn't know it? So Right on the tip of my tongue, but the last one, Sam Spade, yeah, it was either – I didn't know that one. That was just – yeah. No, I just, I, I just didn't know, honestly. So I'm not worried. Fair enough. Impressed, Fair enough. nonetheless. Impressed, nonetheless. And like I said, gentlemen, it's going to be uh, quite the honor to fight you both because I, I have to give props to the team that, that, that broke my record. So we'll see in round two. And it's not to break your record. And, yeah. and hopefully both of our teams will break your new record. All right, Team Marauders. I, I honestly am saying this. I don't think either of you can really – have your heads down like he, you're like you your heads better be like you know fucking looking straight up <laughs> right now because jolly green giants <laughs> you, you lost tying the score tying the previous record so where, where, what's your headspace at gentlemen i just uh, want to say you want to start yeah i'll start um first of all i'm gonna say congratulations they've you know they played a hell of a match 
And I got to say, Sean, I, great fucking teammate, man. I, you know, <laughs> you were the Thank heart you. and soul of this team and you carried us today. So thanks uh, well, for being my teammate today. Greg. I, I don't know about that, but thank you, buddy. Is, in a losing um, effort, in, played yeah. great in a losing effort. And I'm happy we were able to get this far, even though we lost. Yeah, we all know that this match was, uh, you know, development hell, but it's one of those where it was worth the wait. And sometimes don't be afraid to pr- um, to push that date, the release date out there, <laughs> because sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes the fine product at the end, finely tuned product. And that's what we got today. And John, I'm glad you were still a part of this. And I'm glad that we got the match that we got. And anyways, anyways, speaking of, um, do you, now that you two have played together and you actually developed a little chemistry, like, is this a team that maybe you might want to stick with for a little while or? I know Sean's had some talks on the outside side so and John, you know, you're with your, uh, you know, life, but Hey, I, I'm vouching for you guys. If you guys were to consider it, let's just put that. We're trying to, we're trying to tempt you into considering it. That's what I, I, I appreciate you guys tempting me into considering, but. I'm a man of my word, and I already gave someone my word that I'm going to be their teammate uh, following the team tournament. And I, I just don't like going back on that. That's all. Mm-hmm. It, you know, I... had had John and I won today, you know, us moving on, progressing in the tournament, that would have been awesome. But it still would have been the case that I was going to be joining up with someone because, like, that's that's just the way I am. So Fair enough. I, now... I could... Oh, sorry, sorry. Go ahead, John. Go ahead. I can definitely respect that, and uh, you know I got some feelers out for a couple of teammates also. So, um, especially after this match, you're gonna you're you're gonna have people knocking on your door, not just in your DMs. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> people exactly, are gonna be fighting exactly. to have you as a partner. And you know, we haven't quite done this yet, but I would like to make this perfectly clear: the freebird rule is allowed in this league, so that is something to <laughs> consider. Moving forward, just saying. What's, what's the free bird rule? So we can bring on a third and switch out. <laughs> like if, you guys, if you guys, if you guys developed a little, a little faction maybe, and you guys made it to where, kind of like a, um, um, what is what is the team? team? The, yeah, team heroes. Do it to a heroes thing where you actually have it's a it's the name. It's not necessarily the people. Then maybe just yeah. because okay. we like you so much, so. Or oh, hey, and, and hey, and it's not like you guys haven't earned it just from this match alone. Thank you. Um, really quickly, um, you guys did ask about you know how I feel about the match and how you know I, I didn't really get to say anything. Oh yes. Um, I'm, 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 oh no, don't don't worry about it. It's all good. Um, I'm really happy with the way this match wound up turning out in terms of point scoring, and the two guys we played against are absolute beasts. Like, there's no doubt about it that they are going to be two people that are going to be formidable compo- uh, formidable opponents to absolutely anybody in this league. And, uh, Doman, best of luck in the match next week. You look like you got your hands full with these two, though, I got to say. You know what? And to an extent, maybe I do. But you know what? I'm I'm ready for a challenge. And Oncoming Storm was a good warm-up, but now I'm ready for a fight. And well, I feel better also, because originally you know, I was yourself. like, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, with that, with that said, that this is just one of those situations where, unfortunately, we possibly might not see you again. But hey, people are gonna fight for you, and you're we're, we're gonna see those comments. You know, two two of the most popular comments in uh in their OB trivia is gonna be hashtag Dolman and hashtag Bring Back Sean and John. So <laughs> Sean John. So maybe oh. one day we we will we will get that, and you will be convinced. So I'm hoping. But that if not, like... hey, it was a pleasure getting you at least once. Sean John sounds like it should be a clothing line. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> we'll think I think he's on to something there. I think he's on to something. All right. Well, once again, gentlemen, congratulations on a bru- so so close loss. You know, I mean, I, I, you, you two have my, earned my respect. And like I said, you know, just just consider what I said. But, uh, Henry, let's go wrap this up. All right. Whew. I'm Jeez. exhausted. I'm exhausted. And not just because of the shoot this was, but uh, I'm exhausted because just of this match. Screaming, the yelling, the holding my mic super tight. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, like, I, I was grabbing on the, on the arms of my chair. It's pretty tight. tight. Like, I mean, my, my, but you can't really see, but my knuckles are, are fairly white at the moment. Like, Jesus Christ, I'm going to need a f- – I, I, I need a drink. Ugh. And I gotta go to work. Oh God! I wish this was my my day job, but it's not. So <laughs> I'm glad that I'm at least gonna go to work happy and not not sad. So this this is a lot of fun. And wow, this this is Ooh. how you wrap up 
a, tur a round of a tournament, and round one is done. So guess what, guys? It's only going to get better from here. Exactly. So you guys will be seeing both Henry and myself in round two as True Bromance takes on the Nazgul. <laughs> and uh, but you know what? And and now, and I'm taking on the surprisingly tough Team Big Picture with Jacob Blunden in Team Take Three. But Henry, give me your final thoughts on this match, real quick. There's no other way that I would want to end round one of either tournament the way that we got the finishes for both of these singles and teams. And I am so happy, and I can't wait for round two because guess what, guys? There will be trivia. Yeah, there will be a lot of trivia, and it's there will it will only keep going. So, guys, please click the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the Worldwide Movie Games Network, and follow us on Twitter at WWMGN Take Three for. Henry Confidential. I'm Chris Skywalker Doman. We'll see you guys at the next match. There will be trivia, and take care!